exercise and eat right, the cornerstone of any weight loss plan. Easier said than done, though. As KCRA3's Danielle Lee shows us, in the fight to lose weight, a local hospital is arming children with more than just good advice. How about the Fruit Loops? How many teaspoons do you think is in the Fruit Loops? Classes in session at Kaiser Hospital's Fit Weight program. Here, students 5 to 17 years old are erasing years of bad habits that have put them on the road to obesity. I've noticed for a little while that Kinsey may be a little bit overweight. It's 9-year-old Kinsey Mao's first day. How you doing? Good. Over the next six months, doctors will monitor her as she learns to make changes in her lifestyle, level of activity, and food choices. I like fruits and vegetables, but I also do like a few junk foods. Technology and science play a big role. A step test measures fitness level. A trip to the BOD pod measures body composition and helps doctors create individual programs. Dr. John Struthers is heading up the program. This might be the issue that really defines this generation of kids. These new millennium kids, it's estimated about 40% are um, likely to go on and have diabetes. One of the keys is getting kids to move more. They use a device called Fitbit, which gives instant data to both participants and doctors. Eight-year-old Alicia Vera has lost six pounds since joining the program in August. I was putting on some clothes to go to school, and uh, they felt looser. I was like, what? Her favorite form of exercise, We Fit. My favorite one is the hula hoop one. Alicia's mom says you can see the difference in her face and stomach, but the true goal is to keep Alicia healthy. Diabetes runs um, really heavy in my family. I don't want that for her. Danielle Lee, KCRA 3 reports. And parents attend the Fit Weight program along with their kids. In addition to providing support for their children, it helps the entire family adopt a healthier lifestyle.